Hello everyone. Today let us learn how to model this simple machine part. This arrow mark gives you the direction for front view. So I will be creating this profile in my front plane. So the length of this is 75, it is 50, this is 12 mm. So by this I will be creating this profile as well as I will be creating these two lines at a distance of 25 mm and I will be creating two triangles in front plane. So let us move on to SOLIDWORKS. So click on new, select part, click OK. So right click on front plane, sketch, go to line tool, create the profile now. The length of this profile is 75, this is our 50 and this is our 12 mm. Now go to line tool, create two random lines which are vertical, go to smart dimension, select this line, select this line, 25 mm, similarly select these two, the distance is 25, now once again go to line, so create a random triangle here, the line should be vertical and it should be horizontal as well. So, horizontal plus coincident. Now, they have given the dimensions. This is 16 mm and the distance is 12 mm. That is from here to here, the distance is 12 mm. Similarly, I will be drawing a line here as well. It should be horizontal. Go to smart dimension. This height from here to here is 12 mm. So the complete profile has been created. Now let us, uh, let us exit the sketch mode. Select the sketch, go to extruded boss base. Select the profiles. You can change the direction of the extrusion. The extrusion thickness is 63. Click OK. After this, I will create a slot here once again drop down menu, select the sketch, go to extrude cut, select only this profile and the thickness of cut is 15, click OK. So it has been cut. Now I have to create extrusion of a triangle here as well as one more cut here. So you can select the sketch, go to extrude, select this profile but change the direction of extrusion. We need to leave a gap of 19 mm so I will use an option option called offset which is 19 mm from the sketch plane. This is a sketch plane. From the sketch plane to this the distance is 19 mm and this thickness is 25 mm. Thickness is 25 mm. Click OK. So once you do that this is created. Next let me select the sketch. Go to extruded cut. Go to extruded cut. Select this profile. Once again, go to offset option, leave a gap of 22, change the direction and here 63 minus 44 that is 19 mm. So the width of cut is 19 mm. Click OK. So like this, we can create this part. We can save this part as well. So Ctrl S. Let me save the scene machine part 1. Now go to file, make drawing from part. Select A4, switch off this display sheet format. This is 297, 210. So make sure the unit is MMGS, scale. Right click on sheet 1, properties, first angle projection, apply changes. So these are the initial settings which has to be done. Drag the front view, drop it onto the sheet, move the cursor down so that you will get the top view as well as the side view, as well as the isometric view. Press escape to come out of this. Now drag this, place the isometric view here. Change the style. Shade it with edges. Shade with edges. Now let me go to smart dimension and dimension it. Before that you can select the parent view, that is the friend view, and switch on the hidden edges. Switch on the hidden edges. 
you can see the hidden interest here. Now go to smart dimension, dimension this. So in print view, this is 75 mm, it is showing 75.00. So go to options, document properties, dimensions, trailing zeros, remove. Click OK. Now you can see 75. Similarly, this is 12. This is 50. This is 63. Then this is 25. This is 25. Similarly, the distance from here to here is 12 mm. This height is 16 mm. Similarly, this width is 25 mm. So try to dimension the entities which have been given in the question. Okay, make use of all the three views. Okay. So this completes the problem.